Hello guys and welcome to this video to see how to polish restorations nicely. So here we are using the Jiffy, the one on the top left corner from Ultradent, but if you can have all these polishing kits, even better, okay? So you just finished your restoration because there were overhangs or because you were adjusting the occlusion and now you need to polish your restoration, right? So you need to choose one of the colors depending on the degree of polishing that you need. Here we are using the green one first to adjust some cusps and of course that's the cup shape, okay? Uh, why you have different shapes? Because this is useful for different surfaces, right? So you are going to use this now with different colors to make sure that all the surfaces are smooth for your patients. If you don't do that, especially after finishing, then this will be rough for the tongue of the patient and your patient will complain. Now take a look at this. This is the flame tip, very useful, or candle tip. This is very useful to adjust corners, fissures, and then you can use the curve of the flame tip in the internal surfaces of your occlusal surface, okay? This is really useful. Take a look at this. If you need, you go back to another color, to the green color, to polish again using the flame tip. Now adjusting the contact points, always floss for you to make sure that the contact points of your restorations, and of course here we are talking about the class two restorations, that they are good. And now let's see how to do with class 5 restorations. So of course it's a little bit tough to fit the tips close to the cheeks, but of course you find a way, especially working with a dental assistant for example, to polish class 5 restorations that are very close to the gingival margins, okay? Like this. So those are class 5 restorations. And then first using the cup shape, and then the flame tip. 